Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Another episode here on Alma, Missouri. So, we're taking a partial load of bales up to the livestock market again today. We are down, we're down to 24 grand. Uh, we had to buy more, more grass bales because we can't feed grass to our cows. Just, or alfalfa to our cows, which is just the worst thing ever right now because we are losing money because of that, big time. I'm thinking that, well, we're, we're selling these off because we're trying to recoup some money, but sorry about driving in your lawn, people, and make a bigger turnaround. And yeah, I'm thinking that we are going to sell off some of the herd today because we are struggling to feed them. So I think we have we have some cows that are like 38 months, and at some point we're going to need to. Unfortunately, sell them off. This is just the, really a struggle right now. Hard to turn these. I mean, you can back it in straight, but when you're trying to turn them to get in there, it's even harder. Should be plenty good. I'm going to check the straw area. See if we brought a good product. So that makes back a quarter of what we spent because we just because we spent fifteen grand on eight bales. It just kills you. So they are at ninety-two percent health right now. So we need to wait until they get a hundred percent health so they are sold for the best price possible. As you can see. Yeah, some of them are 40 months, so I don't know how much longer they're going to be productive or good reproductive cows. I don't know how, I, I mean, they're not going to gain any more value the older they get, so some of those older cows will be selling off for, for beef today. Um, also thinking about selling the steers as well. We might keep two of them for bulls. I think that's going to be the plan there, but we'll see. Lots to think about in terms of cattle. Not exactly ideal. I mean, I was hoping to have another... I don't know why we went this way. I'm just getting lost in thought. I was hoping to at least have another uh, round of uh, birth with those... With those female cows but here we are we're in a situation where we need to sell some off because we don't want to just keep losing money I mean we're just losing money at this point there's no point in even having these cows if we're just gonna lose the money also I don't know what happened with the barn I had some issues <sighs> I put a bunch of mods in from the multiplayer server that we're setting up into this into this mod folder on accident, so I think a lot of stuff got overwritten, and now this barn is this color. We'll get it back to a, and we'll get it back to the right color at some point. I'm gonna hop in the truck. I'm gonna get the trailer hooked up. Livestock trailer back here. See, the livestock trailer's not even there. So I gotta get that added back into the game. Bunch of stuff's missing. We're missing our auger, all that stuff. So we'll get all that sorted out and then we'll uh, be back with you here shortly. All right, so we are about to sell our nine steers here for a grand total of $13,635. Now we can fix the car, or that steer barn. That'll be good. And change the color back. 
So now we're going to go grab the uh, the cows, the older, the older female cows from the pasture. Get them loaded in. And we'll get those girls sold off as well. I believe they are 1,100 per head. Not going to be a ton. We really don't have that many cows, but with Maze Plus, these these cows eat. We're kind of taken away from the herd, but we have a good amount of uh, calves and heifers. We have five heifers right now that are going to be ready for breeding here. Probably end of well, I guess it is kind of the end of summer, end of fall. I think it's like three months or so from now. That'll be good and. So yeah, we'll figure that all out, but uh, yeah, I'll get these girls loaded up and we'll make another trip uptown. Alright, so we're going to sell these, this group of girls off. All of the older 40-month-olds sold off, so that was a 18 grand profit there. Right? I think we're at 40. Something close to it. Well, we are back up to 58 grand. Pretty much didn't make any money from those cows. <laughs> we uh, essentially, yeah, because we had to buy so many bales. I think we probably still end up losing money on them, so. Maybe we'll kind of th rethink the beef operation here in the f near future. I don't know. I think if we can purchase that butcher shop or that ground in town and maybe put up a butcher shop where we can sell some fresh meat and stuff to the to the community and stuff I think that could be a, a much more profitable venture but just selling them off as livestock yeah I'm not thinking I'm not thinking it's been uh, very a very lucrative business, unfortunately. So, we still have some calves. We still have the heifers in here that are going to be ready to go here. Well, not ready to go, but ready to possibly, possibly, you know, get them, get them having babies. So, there we go. One hook. There we go. So yeah, there's not much going on here around the farm. We'll get that barn fixed now that we don't have any any uh, steers in there anymore. And then maybe we'll move the male the male calves in there because they are. Well, this one's only one month. We got female there, female there. So we have. I don't know why they got split up like that, but. We have six males and we have nine female calves. A little bit heavy on the female side, unfortunately. Kind of hoping for some steers, but or more steers, but you know, it is what it is. So we'll get everything all sorted. We did get our auger back, and we obviously got our trailer back in. So, and then, uh, yeah, we'll catch you guys here. I don't know when, to be honest. We could maybe pick up some contracts or something and do those, but. I kind of want to just move it along, you know, and get into maybe even some fall harvest. So we'll catch you guys here at some point. Alrighty, so we are in September 3 now. We've rented the uh, spreader again from the co-op uptown. Uh, we've rented another uh, tender truck as well, like we did last time. We're spreading lime. We completed our mowing and baling on our grass field. So we have a bunch of grass bales stored up and ready for feed. Which should last us well into even next month. We'll try and get one more cutting in. Uh, but it would li it's likely that it's going to be in November. So it's going to be really late cutting. So who knows if it's going to be... The yield will be anything good, but uh, we'll definitely try and get one more in. We ran the baler on this tractor. 
instead of the case because we were having so many issues with it um, even on in the grass with the collisions and stuff so I haven't had a chance to get back or get into that mod and see if I could fix anything so I was like you know what let's just give it a try and it worked fine so it's a uh, I think it's a combination of the case and the baler so I don't know maybe we just need a little bit more power on it I have no idea but at least it worked this time around so I'm good with it. We'll just have to run the baler on this tractor from now on. Uh, the plan is after we get this lime spread, I'd like to get the duels thrown back on this tractor actually and get some, uh, run the cultivator over this to kind of incorporate the lime in this fall. We're not going to be chisel plowing this because, like I said, we only we're only in this series. We're only going to be chisel plowing corn stalks in. So, that is this field done. We're going to have to get the truck, get the guy driving the truck to move out of the way for us. So he is going to follow us to. Sorry for that loud vehicle outside, if that if the mic caught it. I don't know if it did or not, but we're going to head up to the next wheat field. So that's going to be just southeast of us. You guys, by this point, kind of know what I'm talking about. We should be pretty familiar with what fields we have at this point, if you've been following along. So we'll meet you guys up there at the field and... We have got about 40% left in that tender truck, so I'm really hoping that we don't have to make another trip up town for just a little bit more uh, lime. Just got topped off down here at the edge of the field. Probably going to have to make another trip up, unfortunately. Only 14% left in the truck. I think we'll make it all the way around the headlands, but I think we're going to be pretty close. I'm thinking that we are going to be taking out our first farm loan here come next month, or even near the end of September 3, because we need to, it's time to get another tractor on the farm. Just time, so I want something similar horsepower. That can kind of do everything that this tractor has been doing, such as... I'd like to have a designated planter tractor. So, then we can move this tractor with nearly 30 hours on it into just doing kind of tillage and uh, different stuff. Just, we're putting so many hours on this tractor and it's just... Just wearing on it. So, I mean, this tractor is going to be around for a while still. Don't see us outgrowing this one for a bit. I have my eye on some. Um, it's not green. Just so you know. It is a different color. It is a different brand. But I think it'll be a really, really nice fit on the farm. I think it's going to be a really nice planting tractor. Dr or run the seed drill. Probably could even do spraying with it, just the more precision stuff, because I think we're going to get a little bit more precise auto steer system on it than the one that's on the deer right now. So, yeah, I think it's uh, I think it's going to be good. But we'll make sure that we can actually afford it, that the payments aren't going to be too much in the end. And that it's just a good fit for the farm. We always want to have good fits, you know, like that. That big tractor, what was it, a 9320 or something like that that we were going to get ended up falling through. Kind of happy that it ended up falling through because that one just didn't really feel right, you know. It didn't feel like we were ready for it. But the one that I have in mind, I think that it's going to it's gonna be good. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping you guys agree and... 
I'm gonna try and fit that into this video before. This is kind of the video before harvest. It's obviously next month, like literally when we go to sleep, next game day is gonna be harvest season, so. Got a lot to do today still. Like to get, like I said, wanna get the duels on. I wanna get doing some sort of tillage still. We are actually gonna have plenty to go around here. Got it spread all across the field, and we still have... What? Probably by the time we're done here, 25%? 24? That's pretty sweet. I'll take it. We just gotta go... What? Probably dump this at the farm, and then... We'll be good on lime for the year. That was actually really, really close. Alrighty, so we are down here with our very, very undersized cultivator. We're gonna get some tillage done. I think that's the first time we've ran tillage with our auto steer system, so that's pretty nice. Is really wiping it out though, isn't it? There's just no residue. <laughs> That's interesting. It'd be kind of nice if there was at least a... Well, we know that we took it too... too far. We need to maybe lift up a little bit earlier. It'd be nice if there was at least some sort of residue texture on this... on this wheat, but it's just... Going right to, right to turn dirt here. It is what it is. It is a game after all, but still would really like to see. They they added some more physics to the tillage, like with at least there's a reason, I guess, to use different tillage implements. But I'd like to see them improve upon that in the next game with better uh, visuals such as foliage it would be nice if you could have like a different texture for each crop that's been tilled in soil compaction would be really really cool different things like that soil compaction um, so that it would matter with what ty type of tires you're using. If you're using tracks, or if you're using big floaters, or if you're using row crops, or, you know. It would be nice to get those differences in the so-called farm sim, farming simulator game. <laughs> Be a, there's a lot to be added to be I mean don't get me wrong this is the best farming game that we got and I spend way too much time on it and I enjoy it every second of it but yeah there's I'd love to see some more uh, simulation things added to it in the next game I think with them likely dropping old gen support for the next game. I think it's the. I mean, there's probably a pretty darn good possibility that we are going to be able to get those types of physics, but I guess it's kind of more up to the engine improvements on the engine and stuff, because they do have their own engine. It's not like they're running Unity or anything, so. We're just going to run it right on up to the edge of the waterway. There we go. Makes things a whole lot easier when you can just drive right over the waterway. That's what we do. But tillage in real life.
But yeah, this is probably going to take probably all day now, I would guess. Let's check the sails. Nothing but a massy. So, but because we have auto steer now, we can, you know, go on Tractor House, go on all these different websites and look at tractors and see if we can maybe come up with some sort of deal by the end of the day. The great thing about auto steer, you can get so much more done, so much more productive auto steer is. Well, I'll catch back up with you guys here in a bit. Hopefully I can come up with something exciting. Alrighty, so we are down here at the second wheat field. Getting this cultivated in as well. I am going to get a second. I'll probably just, at the end of this row, we'll stop, we'll look at the tractor that we are planning on buying. Tomorrow morning we are going to go up to the bank to secure our loan, hopefully. Got to submit a bunch of documentation, like all of our assets and all of that stuff, income from the farm, all that stuff to see if I mean, we should definitely qualify for a, uh, for a loan, but it's, uh, just part of the process of getting, uh, loaned for anything, really. You gotta kind of submit a bunch of documentation and stuff, so. Alright, so we'll stop here. But what we are going to be buying... Is this case MX200? It is a early 2000s model tractor. I think that's when it was released. Um, but the uh, motor and engine, and all that stuff, was almost completely rebuilt. So it's pretty much a zero, zero hours on the tractor. Um, it's just a hobby hobby build for a guy. Uh, so he bought it and. It's actually pretty local, so he just wanted to put some time into it and make some money off it. So as you can see, this is going to run us about seventy-four, seventy-five thousand dollars nearly. So that is why we have to get a loan because we don't have that kind of money in the bank right now. <laughs> so uh, after we sell our wheat, we will we would have that much money, uh, but. We want to make sure that we have some money to play with uh, for operations and stuff like that. We don't want to just be completely bankrupted ourselves. So, so hopefully everything goes smoothly and this is going to be the tractor that we call ours. So the big plan for tomorrow October 1 is that we're going to be hauling our wheat up to the uh, elevator uptown. And we really have to just, we're probably just going to hook this tractor up to the chisel plow. Well, we got to kind of decide what we're doing for hauling wise. I don't know if we're going to, we're probably not going to be using this for hauling. Yeah, probably not. Probably won't be hauling with this because this does need to be on the chisel plow. So we can get, well I guess it doesn't need to be on the chisel plow for beans, we're only doing corn so maybe we will be using uh, this for hauling, because we'll put the, the MX on the drill so we can drill our win winter crops with it pretty much right away, right after we harvest the beans, looking forward to that, pretty much putting that right to work. Once we get it going, so we also have to come up with about 15 grand for uh, the auto steer software. Uh, as you saw, that tractor does come with the uh, globe for the case auto steer system. Oh, lost our GPS line. But 
we don't have the actual software purchased for it, like with a subscription or whatever for it, so we gotta purchase that for a hefty 15 grand as well, so the total of the tractor is gonna be about, about 90 grand. Um, I would like to get a little bit more technology in our tractor as well for running our drills and our plant planters. It's 165 horse, this is 181 horse. So it's not too much of a difference. It'll it will pull it'll pull uh, the planter completely fine. Yeah, even if we upgrade to a 12 row, which I'd really like to, it should pull that pretty pretty okay as well. So we'll see. But yeah, I'm looking forward to that new purchase. So with all that being said, that is where we're gonna end this episode off. We're kind of rolling into the evening now. Days are going to start getting darker earlier. And yeah, so we're going to hopefully be able to finish this field up this evening. Should be able to with no problem. We have such a small headland at the end there that I had to just skip a row for one. Kind of nice that you can do that with auto steer, but uh, we'll swing back around and grab that on the way back so yeah that's gonna be it guys if you are still here please subs uh, consider hitting that like button subscribing to the channel if you are not already and thank you so much to the youtube channel members we just got a massive gain of 12 new members so we are up to 22 new members on the ch in the channel which is insane those are due to big gifts in the live stream today thank you to big rig frosty and kangu for your uh for your gifts i mean that was that was very very kind of you guys so thank you so much it's pretty cool to see that many people uh members of the channel so we will be back with another episode tomorrow. It'll be Sunday when the next episode goes out. Well, thank you guys for watching. Catch you in the next video.